this is The Book Bot with another Fan Fiction Friday. Today I will be reading Talkies by The Uncontrollable Fangirl. This is part of Mortal Instruments. I decided to do a Mortal Instruments fan fiction today because if you haven't heard, there's going to be a TV show based on the Mortal Instruments called The Shadow Hunters. I'm super excited to watch it. Uh, I do believe the production is starting in May. So if you don't know why they decided to do a TV show, they had previously done a movie, but apparently it didn't work out so well. This I found a week or so ago. I was scrolling through some fan fiction and I thought this is quite interesting. So it was published July 10th, 2014. Page break bunny. So here we have the summary. Remember in City of Bones when we were told that Jace once ate something bad from Takis and ran down the street naked with antlers on his head? Well that's what this is about. I'm going to go ahead, read this, and then get back with my review. Let's just go back for a second. It says here that Alec and Isabel are discussing Isabel's upcoming 13th birthday. So she's not even a teenager yet. Isabel drags both boys into the restaurant. Nice spelling, by the way. Getting them settled into a red booth. Alec and Isabel discuss her upcoming 13th birthday while Jace flirts with the waitress. I'm pretty sure he's the same age as Alec and Isabel. Alec is older than Isabel. You know, Isabel, you're pretty, but maybe if you weren't so much of a bitch, that would mean something. Jace says while looking at his adopted sister. I'm gonna go home and train. Training is good. Training helps you kill demons. Killing demons is good, he says while jumping out of the booth. Can we really believe that this is a 13 year old saying this? All right. First, Jay sits in front of the TV flipping through the channels when he gets to a news report about indecent exposure. He wonders what it would be like to run down the streets butt naked before ripping his clothes off and running out the door. You would not believe the trouble those three kids got into that day. I'm sorry, I had to clap for this fanfiction. But I can actually see Jace doing this, you know. Well, everyone, that was an interesting story. So, first of all, I'd like to say that this author is very creative. Not only did they put a lot of the character traits from the actual characters in the book series, but they also added, you know, their own creation into the plot, the setting. It made me laugh a lot. It was just quite interesting. Sandra Claire never tells us exactly what happened that day when he ran down the street naked. You could actually believe this story. I had read this in the book, I would believe this 100%. So yes, I actually like this fanfiction a lot. The only problem for me was that it had a bit of misspelled words, but other than that, the plot was great, the setting was great, the character development, although there wasn't much development, but it was quite on point with the traits of the characters themselves. If you enjoyed this story as much as I did, you should follow Uncontrollable Fangirl. It's not me, I swear. Have a nice Friday and enjoy this video.